two, one. Hello there, and welcome to my February wrap-up. I know I already uploaded this video, but, well, I finished another book in February. We had four days left, so I assumed I wasn't going to be finishing this book, but then I finished it because it was really, really good, and now we're here, so I'm redoing this wrap-up. I've deleted the other video, but here, let's get into it right now. So, if you're new here, my name is Owen Williams, and in February, I read one, two, three, four, five, six books, which is, I think, my best of any month ever. And today we're going to go ahead and rank all of them. I read two books last month, and yeah, let's hop straight into it. Starting up with Carjacked by Ali Sparks. This book has been on my to-read list for a solid three years now. I only just got around to it. Um, this book feels like it's the adapted book version of an action. Okay, that can you please, thank you. The, okay, I'll just, nope, okay. The adapted book version of an action movie, which I'm not really a big fan of, because, for those of you who've been around my channel for a little bit of time, know that I truly despise um, book-to-film adaptations. I have never seen a book-to-film adaptation that I actually liked or thought was any good. So, this one, this book felt like it was written to become an action movie. The um, plotline is, basically, genius boy named Jack. Jack, get it. Is um in a, his car when it's stolen by this guy, and they go on the run and blah blah blah. It's a pretty good book. It's very thrilling. It's pretty short. It only took me like two or three days to finish, but I definitely really enjoyed this. And if you like very high action books, then I would enjoy this one. This is like an action adventure genre. Moving on was the book that my school made mandatory to read, so I kind of had to read it, was A Refugee Boy ben by Benjamin Zephaniah. Everyone in my class who read this hated it. They said that the language and the way the author talked was really annoying and that they really didn't like it. I could not see how it was annoying at all. It, this work was a really nice comfort read. Everything was really easy to understand, the characters were really lovable, and Basically, it's about this boy named Alan, who moves to England, and his father leaves him there because there's a war where he comes from. And Alan is trying to stay in England, but and all these people try to help him. There's some really, really beautiful scenes. There's some really sad scenes. It's an emotional roller coaster. Um, some of the emotional points didn't hit exactly home for me, but of course, I wasn't really paying much attention when I read this book because I was kind of zoning in and out of this one because I don't really like school mandated reads. But this one I would definitely enjoy, and I might read it again in the future. If you like books that are about like modern problems, then I would definitely recommend this book for you. And yeah, I really enjoy this. Um, yeah. Anyway, moving on to the third book that I read, which is my first time reading a book. Okay, it's too big for the camera to handle. Is that okay? Yep, okay. It was Save the Cat by Blake Snyder. This book was, is, isn't a storybook, it's a book about screenwriting, and I've been writing my own script recently, which I just finished, and I actually finished a script after I read this book, uh, like before I read this book, so my next script I'll use this, and I really enjoyed this, it gave me a bunch of really cool tips, and for anyone who wants to be a screenwriter, I definitely recommend this to you. It doesn't teach you how to screenwrite, but it teaches you tips on it, if that makes any sense. Anyway, moving on from the good books to the great books, my first ever autobiography, no, just biography that I read, was Born Survivors by Wendy Holden. This is a book about three mothers during World War II who were in concentration camps. It's all true. And they were all pregnant, and they had their children in concentration camps. It's a really interesting story, and it took me a really long time to read, because I could only really read ten pages a day, because then I feel, like, really depressed and... Because um, there's some very sad points in this, of course, because it's about concentration camps and all the horrible things that happen there. And so I just put this book down. It's really gripping, a lot of it, and you, like, really care about the characters, of course, because you know it's real. I actually got to meet one of the babies that was born in the concentration camp, Eva. She came to my school to give a talk. She's a great speaker. And this book was actually signed by her, but I'm not sure how much of the inside I'm allowed to show. I don't want to get copyrighted, so you just have to take my word for it. Anyway, I really enjoyed this book. Um, it's very enlightening. I never really understood how horrible Nazis were 
until I read this book and realized it. Like, they were terrible people. Like, I knew they were bad, but this, they were so much worse than I thought. And I really enjoyed this, and I would recommend it to anyone who wants to read a book like this. But if you are not a big fan of, like, really sad books, then I probably wouldn't recommend this one to you. Or you're young. I could just, young kids I wouldn't recommend this to. But a book that I would recommend to young kids is Illumini. Illumini is a um, really interesting book, probably the most interesting book that I read in a really long time, because it's not set up like a normal book. The plot is that there's this ice mining planet, which is attacked by this uber mega corporation, and the whole population escapes on new ships and starts being pursued by the mega corporation, and it takes place on the ship. But instead of being a normal like, chapter story, they set it out as a report. So there's conversations with the main characters, security camera footage, um, and it gets really interesting. Um, if you even just look at the book, like, the pages are weird. It has my favourite character that I've read in a really long time. Um, I won't, if I just meant talking about them at all, would probably spoil it. And it has a plot twist near the end, which made me have to stop reading, put the book down, go for a walk, because I was trying to process what I had just read. It is a great book, and I recommend this to basically anyone. Um, there are some slightly scary scenes, but of course, because it's a book, there's no like gore or anything. Uh, so I'd recommend this book to a lot of people, especially people who like sci-fi. I, I described it to my friend as the Illuminati in space, which is pretty much what it is. But then it like goes in other directions that you didn't expect. There's some super tense scenes, some really sad scenes, some brilliant scenes, and I really loved a lot of this book. And this was actually my pick for the best book of February. However, I then started reading a 400-page book. And I had four days left, so I didn't think I'd finish it, because I usually take a long time to read books. And it was so gripping that I finished it within those four days, within two days. And that book is Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rasch. So this book, is, as far I know, is... She wrote it when she was 12, and then it took her years to get it published. And I think it's the first in a series. Yeah, it's definitely the first in a series. But basically, there are these four kingdoms, summer, autumn, winter, spring. And spring invades winter. And these, and a few, like, only about 20 people escape that, and all the other people are put in concentration camps. And this is a story of one of the people who escaped as they try to fight back for their own kingdom. It does great world building, introduces great characters. There's one character who, when I first met him, I thought I would hate him, but then I loved him by the end, and he was my absolute favourite character. Um, it's really intense, some things you care about the characters, and because of World Book Day is coming up soon, I might go as the main character from this book. As, I don't know, does anyone else watch this do World Book Day? I'm thinking of going as one of the characters that I've read in these books recently, but I don't know exactly who to go as. But anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed, um, why are we still rec yeah, we're still recording, sorry. I hope you all enjoyed, um, I recommend all these books. I've started reading my next one, which is Watership Down, which I probably won't finish many books this month, because Watership Down is going to take me a very long time to finish, I'm only 100 pages in, it's like a 600 page book, so I have to get to reading that, but luckily it's Saturday, so I can get a lot of reading done today. So anyway, I hope you all have a great day, I'll see you all in the next one, and Owen out, goodbye.